Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. It's Rachel Ray here and today we're going to do an unboxing. Now this particular canvas is actually from AliExpress and it's from Home Fun. So you guys know, I know how I feel about AliExpress right now and how I've felt for a while and that's okay. You know, everybody's got their preference. I decided that I wanted to do a little bit of an experiment, so I'm going to get into this. Um, first of all, I just want to say that I totally expected delays with this package. Um, it's coming out of a factory, probably from the city of Yiwu, um, and I definitely kind of knew that things would be delayed, okay? And I hope that those of you who have ordered diamond paintings from China also expect delays, major delays. So um, there have been a few people who have emailed me or messaged me asking me if I know when diamond paintings will come in from China. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I ordered this on the 30th of January and it arrived on the 31st of March. That's That's an entire two months that it took. That is not normal, uh, but it's the new normal. So there you go. All right, so this is a 50 by 50 square diamond painting by Home Fun. Um, the boxes always come like this from Home Fun. I'm um, just being honest, that's what the, happened to the last one. And over the canvases that I've seen other people unbox, that's how theirs came to. Let's get in here. Oh yeah, I forgot I'm going to have to do inventory as well. Alright, so there's some toolkits in here. Just one? Just one. Go lay down, please. Go lay down. Um, so here we have cardboard. A toolkit. It has a pink pen with a three-placer, plate of wax, some cheapo tweezers that I never use, and a Mosfa boat. It's a white boat with a funnel. Um, nothing fancy about it. It's all you need to diamond paint. Inside comes the grills and the canvas, and you already saw the image. It's that mandala. Does that look familiar? Yeah. So this was my experiment. I'll put that over there. This is the experiment canvas. It comes wrapped in these plastic um, rubber bands. They're not rubber. Plastic bands. Do not like. I'm going to cut them so that small creatures don't get entangled in them. Um, it is a oil canvas, so it looks like this, and I'm looking for any rivers or bubbles, and I don't see any, just the seam. There's a foam roller. Bye-bye. Man, I haven't had one of them in a long time. I'm going to have to take off my jacket. There's a strong smell off of this. Uh, here we have the legend, and there are... Oh, <laughs> I can just look at this. You miss the squirrel voice? I do too, but there are 34 colors total. It gives you an inventory sheet with the picture, the size, and everything. It looks like the predominant color is 939, 995, 796, but not 310. Okay, so it's just like the other one that I got. The other one was from Home Craftology. This is home fun. I've never, full disclosure, never done a square home fun. So this is a, you know, pretty, I'm, I'm looking at this with fresh eyes, okay? Um, the last, I'm going to put a little card up here so you can go check it out after the video. If you click the little eye, that's where extra videos relating to this video will pop up. I'm peeling back the cover paper really carefully. This is double-sided tape. So if you're wondering what the difference between 
you know, how do you tell between poured glue and double-sided tape? Most of the time, like 99.9% .9 of the time, this paper identifies a painting as double-sided adhesive. And then this is going to take me forever, I know, but I really just wanted it so that I could do the experiment between the sizes. Like, why should you go bigger? What's the difference? Why should I spend more money? I'm always trying to educate the people that watch my channel and let them know kindly why we need to do the things that we do and why, why, you know, you might think that I'm picky or something, but in realistic terms, I get stuck to the table. I'm just doing it so that, you know, you can learn from my mistakes. You can go watch all the videos and then, yeah. All right. I have no patience. Y'all, I'm glad this is now plastic. How many people are cringing? Sorry, not sorry. <laughs> Sometimes you need a little bit of cringe. All right. Now I'm going to pull back slow and in the same direction. Wow. See how beautiful that is? I don't know if you can tell. I'm going to bring you into the correct viewing point so that you can see the detail. This piece is underneath the other layer of glue. Okay, first impressions. Symbols are super clear except for the number three because it's a pink symbol with a white uh, number. Number four is also difficult to read. But the way that I work on a diamond painting is that I try to go from the symbols that I can read first to the ones that I can't. And by the time that I've gotten to an area where I can't really see that close or I can't see the definition of those symbols, I'll show you in a moment actually, um, then I will turn on a light pad. And that's how I complete a painting. I'm kind of surprised that it's not completely uh, mirrored. That's a that's a little bit of a surprise to me, but I suppose if they did that, it would be a really boring picture, right? So this is the 50 by 50 version. So I think you can see here, no, I have to bring it out a little bit more, bear with me. You can kind of see here that there's this kind of electric looking lightning almost in the background. And then you've got this flower, flower mandala. Believe it or not, this is the same picture, but in a 20 by 20 size. Yeah. Yeah, no. That's going to have a lot more detail. So, honestly, I don't know when. <laughs> I don't know when I will be able to do this. But you can, I think you can see it just by doing this. So if you're curious what the difference those sizes make, that's a huge, significant difference in my opinion. Do, does everyone have the time to do a 50 by 50 diamond painting? Maybe not. But if you're looking for something to relax you and maybe just something to get your mind off things, maybe you want to go with the 20 by 20. But if you want to hang something up on your wall and you're really looking for detail, then you need to go bigger. This is the perfect example why. And eventually, hopefully someday, I'll be able to get through it and show it to you. But I honestly, right now, I have no idea when that's going to be. I told every one of my subscribers that I was going to try to slash a stash and whip my whips before... I would go and start a new project. And that still rings true. I don't want to start something new right now. I have a lot of things kitted up. 
and I need to get through them. I need that satisfaction. I want to tell you what the, you know, what my, you know, words, <laughs> my, my experience with those companies, et cetera, et cetera. But this is probably, probably one of the last, if not the last double-sided adhesive painting that I'm buying from AliExpress. And I'm going to tell you why. I don't like them anymore. I don't like the way that the drills lie down. You have to be very precise with the square drills. There's no give in that glue at all. Um, it's not glue, it's tape. So if you can see here, there are a few little rivers, but it's it's not that serious. Not yet anyway. We'll see if I go to work on it while I'm still on YouTube. I'll show you, I will show you what happens. Um, I don't have enough clear cover to cover this up with. If I did, then I would. But I'm just going to put the paper back down and I'm going to put it away. I store these paintings flat. So they don't get rolled back up. They get stored flat. Um, I haven't done this in so long. I haven't shared this kind of diamond painting with you all in a while. And I feel bad on one hand, but on the other hand, I don't because it's personal preference how you spend your money. And who am I to tell you what to do with your money? The only thing that I will tell you is that if you are buying diamond paintings of artists' work and they're not being properly credited, then you know, it's, first of all, it is a moral issue. And second of all, that artist is not being paid. And in the United States of America, it is illegal. So just keep that in mind. Just keep it in mind. I'm going to put it out there. All right. Enough of me being all negative Nancy about this. Let's just place down the cover properly. But I think I think that there are a lot of people who are new to this hobby. They're getting they're just starting this hobby and they don't know. So if you want if you want to to tell them that I said that, that's fine. You know, I'm still gonna stand up for artists and their rights. I have bought diamond paintings in the past without knowing. And that has happened to all of us on YouTube. So, and if it hasn't, you know, then I can be called a liar. You know, if there's somebody out there that I've never seen before who has never, ever, ever showcased a copyrighted image, then I apologize to that person. Well done. I have gone back and I have taken down videos that used artist work, like Ravine Phelan, um, or Raven Phelan with her Divine Instinct. Love that painting. It is now legally licensed by Diamond Art Club. So, um, from now on, you know, that's, that's how I'm rolling. This is how you get your diamonds with Home Fun. They package them in little bags, like so. And they tell you how many bags that you need to complete the painting. So what we do is we go through the list and check off all the numbers that we have. So, gosh, I haven't done this in so long. Um, I'm gonna have a seat and maybe have a cup of tea and then I'm gonna time-lapse this part of the video so that you can see me check off the drills and, and all that kind of stuff. Okay, so I went through and I checked off the inventory and everything is here. Just so you know that the 939s came like this. 
which I had one normal size bag and then a bunch of these. These bigger bags are the equivalent of five small bags. So in the end, there's 61 bags worth here. This is a great space saver. I wish they had done that for like 995, which is 36 bags, I believe. Um, but the reason that I don't like drills and baggies like this is because that it's a lot of plastic, y'all. It's a lot. And then when you're kidding up the project, it takes forever. So there are other ways to kit up uh, these diamond paintings, which you'd only have to open two or three of these at a time. But I like to kit up all at once. So it's just, it just makes it a lot. It takes a lot longer. That's all. And it's a lot more plastic. Um, the drills. So I'm not going to go through all of the colors with you or anything, but I do want to show you their quality. If I can, geez Louise. Maybe that's not the right color to show. <laughs> okay. They actually look really nice. Um, the dark colors, I don't see any tabs. So I'm, I'm pretty pleased. There is like the odd tab here and there. Of course, I'm not going to know until I actually do the painting, but you can see right there. Like, I don't think there's any issues. So for all of those people for the last, I don't know how many months who have been telling me, you need to try Home Fun Squares. And I was hesitant because of my previous experience with Home Fun and their round diamonds, not the diamonds themselves, but the canvas. Um, I'm sorry. I should have tried them earlier, but then again, it's images like this that I don't mind getting from AliExpress, but anything else is probably ripped from an artist. So that is my standpoint. Not that you asked, but just so that you know. Uh, let's just do the basics. So there's only a legend on this side. It's nowhere else on the painting. There's very little margin on the sides. So it would be hard to do one of those wrapped finishes that I like to do. I'd have to frame it, so I'd have to find a custom frame, which is really hard. Um, another thing I didn't do was measure. <laughs> I can't find my measuring tape, so I have to use my husband's. So, let's see, it's supposed to be 50 by 50. Yeah, that's 50. Is there a way to pause that? Pause. Hold! <laughs> and then this side to this side. Yeah, it's 50. That's good. So it is, woo! The design size that you choose on the website is what you're going to get. Let's have a look, a closer look at the canvas itself. I'll bring you down so you can see it. So here is the canvas. So you can see that it's mostly alphanumeric and there are easy to read symbols like the pound sign, the plus sign, etc. But I hope that I'm not being too critical here, but as you can see, there's uh, Q's right here and then there's O's here and they're very similar color. It might cause some eye strain. Um, the rest, I mean, like I said, with like the threes, the numbers that I was talking about earlier, three, four, et cetera, you might actually get away now that I'm now that I'm down here on the canvas. I think you could get away with it, but if you're having trouble reading the symbols, they're going to suggest that you use a light pad or a strong overhead light. In daylight, this does not look bad, but the Q and the O... Q, O, Q, O. They're one shade off and they're green. They're, this one is like a, almost like a light swamp green. And that one is like a pale sea, seagrass green. I don't know if that helps you, but if you're colorblind um, in that spectrum, I don't know if you're going to be able to tell those apart, and I don't know how those are going to look, if they're going to look any different, but you know what? It probably doesn't matter um, on this canvas, 
but again, here they are right next to each other, right here. Now when they're side by side, that's easier to distinguish, but again, different people have different vision and that should be taken into consideration when making diamond paintings, but it's not always on the top of the list for certain companies and we all know that. Um, I'm hopeful now that I've had a look at the diamonds, um, at these drills, they look to be quite good. There are some colors that have like um, raised backs, not dimples, but they look a little bit concave on the back, but I'm sure it'll be fine. The stickiness of the tape is quite sticky. Um, it's a good type of tape. I do enjoy Sunar Group adhesive. Um, it is pre predominantly on, um, no, I won't say that, <laughs> but it's, it's, it's all right. It's a good adhesive. It holds the diamonds and that's all that matters. In the end, I am happy that I went ahead and I ordered this painting because I am curious to see what it's going to look like. And I think it'll look really good in my room. Um, let me bring you back out. Again, I don't know when I'll be able to do this, but it, it looks like a really nice painting. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them down in the comments section below. But I think honestly that this could be my very last um, double-sided adhesive canvas for personal reasons and my own, my own pickiness, <laughs> my preference is uh, poured glue. I enjoy laying down the diamonds more when it's on poured glue. Anyway, guys, I hope that was thorough for you. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, come back and see me again so that we can see what the difference will be between the Home Craftology canvas and the Home Fun canvas. I'm sh I, I already know that the Home Fun will have much more detail, but hopefully the diamonds will be better as well. So, with that being said, I won't keep you any longer. Thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you for tuning in. If you liked it, please thank you. leave me a thumbs up and let me know down in the comments how your home fun canvases have come on in the past. I look forward to hearing from you. I hope you all have a wonderful day and I'll see you all in my next one. Take care, guys.